Friday. New toy in the house. This guy needs a proper introduction for sure. This is the new Slick ECH 630 Astro Tracker. Very excited to be shooting with this tonight. It is a clear summer day, super warm temperatures, and it's almost the moon. And I'm gonna be headed to one of my favorite dark sky locations, Burgo Springs tonight. And with the Sony A7R III, I'm gonna be shooting with the Sony Zeiss 5518 right here. You can see that. And according to a technique and a really nice rule to follow, it's called the 500 rule, you can't go longer than, you can see that right there, 9.0909, whatever that is, seconds. <laughs> and if you would go over that, you would get severe dashing and you want those pinpointed stars. So this Astro Tracker will allow the 55 to take it even longer with lower ISOs. So I bet this can go maybe one minute. We're gonna test it out. I wanna see what this Astro Tracker is made of. I'll be back. All right. Bye. Later. guys back from Borrego awesome night under the stars uh, dealt with a few clouds here and there but at the end of the evening it was definitely worth trying out that tracker it, it blew me away I mentioned earlier according to the 500 rule you can't go longer than 8 to 10 seconds if you go longer than that without a tracker you're gonna get some dashing guess what guys I went a lot longer than 8 to 10 seconds that's for sure this tracker proved me wrong. I said maybe this tracker can go at least one minute, then after a minute it's gonna start showing dashing. I was wrong, totally wrong. I don't wanna spend too much time on these photos. I just wanna show you that uh, the proof is in the pudding, that this tracker is totally worth it. This first photo was shot with the Sony a7R III at ISO 640, as you can see up here in the top right corner, 55 millimeter. I stopped it down to f2.0, to avoid some chromatic aberrations in the corner. And this image was shot at 41 seconds. Now, mind you, this is a lot longer than 10 seconds, and it is pinpointed sharp. And of course, this is kind of dark because I only shot it at 41 seconds. Move this up maybe two stops. Look at that. Boom, amazing. Look how clear that is. Look how clean that is. So this shot is pretty crazy. This is the one I'm gonna give a final edit to. And I'll have that in the video. We go look up here in the right corner, ISO 640. And mind you, I probably could be shooting these at 400, but you know, 640 is pretty darn close and it looks really clean at 640. So 55, I stopped it down to f2.0. Look at the shutter speed, it's 135 seconds, right? So if you divide that by 60 seconds, which is a minute obviously, that gives you two minutes and 28 seconds. That's crazy, but I bet we could probably hit the three minute mark for sure. Here's a shot right here without the tracker. This is without the tracker. And it's at 137 seconds, two seconds more than the previous shot. Oh, look at all the dashing, look at all that. That's crazy. See, this is without the tracker. This is with the tracker. All right, here it is once again, the ECH 630 Astro Tracker. Love it. So let me quickly explain how to dive into these menus to achieve that shot. Okay, first things first, gotta turn it on. Bam, that should be on right now. There you go. It's already set for the Northern Hemisphere, as you can see that right there. But you can actually set that to Southern Hemisphere, say you're in Australia. It's really easy, hit the set button once. And then you can toggle left and right. We hit the center button once more. Are you sure you're in the Northern Hemisphere? I hit yes. And we are off and running. Just as easy as that. In the top right corner, it shows you the life of your battery. And on your bottom left corner, it shows you how long this guy's been working. 
it's been spinning. In order to reset the tracker, all you do is just basically turn it off. And then you turn it back on. If you're wondering about this guy right here, this is called the SMH250. This is basically a micro adjustment for your trackers. Once the tracker is on your tripod, you can make those fine adjustments. And once you attach the star tracker to your tripod, your next step is to align the North Star with the tracker by looking through this people right here. You see me doing that at the beginning of the video. So all you're gonna be doing is, you're gonna be looking through this hole and you're gonna get the best alignment of the North Star in the center of this people right here. You can find a North Star by using apps like Stellarium and Photopills. I recommend those too. So there it is. Final words, if you are into deep space photography, this tracker is the one for you. Check it out, ECH 630 Star Tracker. Get it? Damn.